My name is Taylor James, and this is a special interview about the existence of Jesus Christ with Dr. Mike Magoon. So this is my first question for you. If a man named Jesus never existed, then, then there is no need to further investigate the possibility of Jesus being the Son of the Almighty God. It is easy to see that the Bible documents the life of Jesus. However, is there credible evidence outside of the Bible that a man named Jesus ever existed, i.e. walked the earth? Good question, Taylor. After all, if Jesus didn't walk the earth and didn't exist, then there is no Christianity. Then it's all a pipe dream. And there are many folks that think that uh, the Bible documents the existence of Jesus, but of course the Bible would say that Jesus existed. The real question is, is there evidence outside the Bible, and how credible is the evidence? There are five commonly cited sources. Josephus, Tacitus, Pliny, Ignatius, and the Jewish Talmud. Can you explain those resources? Yes, Taylor. Josephus was a Jewish historian, and in about the year 90, he wrote a book called Antiquities of the Jews, which documented the Jewish history up to that time. In it, he comments that Ananias, the high priest, was plotting to kill James, the brother of Jesus, who was also called the Christ. This shows us that in a source that has nothing to do with our Bible, that someone is plotting to kill a guy named James, who was the brother of a man named Jesus, just like the Bible says. Jesus had a brother named James. And it also says that some folks at that time believed that he was the Christ or the Messiah. The second source is Tacitus. Tacitus was a Roman historian. He wrote a famous book on Roman history called The Annals of the Roman Empire in about the year 100, 110. In it, he comments that Nero, the emperor of Rome, at the time of about the year 60, was blaming the Christians for a fire that had been set to Rome and destroyed much of Rome at the time. He said that he was rounding up the Christians and feeding them to the lions. And in that commentary, Tacitus comments that uh, Pontius Pilate was killed, I'm sorry, Pontius Pilate killed Jesus in about the year 30. This again confirms that Jesus existed, that he was killed by Pontius Pilate, just like the Bible indicates. He also comments that there were many Christians that were rounded up and killed, indicating that there were a multitude of followers of this faith called Christianity, and that they were agreeing to be killed in what they believed in, for what they believed in. There was Pliny the Younger. Pliny the Younger was a Roman uh, uh, governor of Turkey at the time. And Pliny the Younger wrote in about the year 110 uh, that the Emperor Trajan was rounding up Christians. He didn't like them. And he was rounding them up uh, to kill them. And he commented there were a great multitude of Christians that would refuse to recant their belief in Christianity in order to survive being killed. He also comments on the side that what they seem to be guilty of was mostly that they would meet one day a week, chant to a man named Christ and worship him as if he were a god, and that they agreed not to commit adultery, to steal or lie. And he found it unusual that that's all they were guilty of. Then there's Ignatius. Ignatius uh, wrote uh, a lot. He was the Archbishop of Antioch. In about the year 115 or so, uh, the Emperor Trajan that we just heard about rounded up Ignatius and had him brought back to Rome to feed him the lions. Ignatius was excited, actually, to sacrifice his life. He said that he spoke with the apostles and heard firsthand that Jesus Christ existed, that he was killed, and that he was raised from the dead. Interesting. You also mentioned the Talmud? Yes. What was that? Uh, and Talmud is a writing, a historical writing, by the Jews, and it was written about the year 500 to document history. 
And in the Talmud, they comment that there was a, a start named Jesus who was practicing witchcraft and sorcery and magic and performing what others thought was a miracle. And that he was rightfully crucified and killed. Again, it indicates from a source that is not complimentary of Jesus or of Christianity that a man named Jesus truly existed, that he was crucified and killed, and that he performed miracles that many thought were magic or sorcery, um, and that uh, some folks worshipped him as the Christ or the Messiah. Very interesting. Thank you, Dr. Magoon. A uh, follow-up question. Honestly, how credible are these sources? Are they challenges to their own validity? You know, there are no serious challenges at this point in history to the validity. On the internet, you'll find lots of opinions. But real historians agree that these are reputable sources, and many think that these sources are more reputable than the evidence we have for Alexander the Great. And we all believe that Alexander the Great existed. We have plenty of evidence to indicate that Jesus Christ indeed existed and walked this earth 2,000 years ago. So then I guess, why were the Christian followers persecuted and killed? Well, for many reasons. Number one, the, uh, the Jews weren't sure that he really was the Messiah. And at that time, if you claimed to be the Messiah, it was almost heresy. It was crazy. Number two, the Romans at the time, when Christ existed, were afraid of a Jewish revolution because there were many Jews and not many Romans. And Pontius Pilate and uh, the Roman government at that time was afraid of being overthrown by a young man who was called King of the Jews. There was only one king. It was the emperor of Rome at the time. And if you said you were king, they were afraid you might get an army and overthrow them. Finally, they didn't like those uh, Christians very much because the Christians on Sundays would drink the blood of their dead Savior, and eat his flesh. That's what communion represents. And they thought those guys must be cannibals. And they certainly are no folks that we should be having in our society. For those reasons, at that time, Christians were persecuted and Jesus was persecuted. Thank you, Dr. McCune. Do you have any other thoughts to share with our jury? There's plenty of evidence that Jesus Christ existed. He walked this earth. The next study for this Bible study is, did he die? Was he raised from the dead? Because if he died and he was raised, then we have a magical, almost, perhaps miraculous, uh, Christianity and religion to believe in. Thank you, Dr. McGoon. No further questions. You're welcome, Taylor. Thank you for the interview.